All right, so I've been living with the Fujifilm X-Pro2 for a handful of months, and I say living with because the X-Pro2 honestly has rarely left my side. And I originally bought this device because I wanted something that I could travel with, that I could document my family's life. And in a world where all we want is the latest and greatest, this seven-year-old camera has been my favorite piece of gear for the whole year of 2023. This has been a year of celebration for my family with my little brother and my in-laws getting married and traveling to Mexico City for the first time. Also my wife graduating nursing school and throughout all the year's moments, the X-Pro2 has been there and has been my camera of choice. Now mind you, I have a couple film cameras. I also have a brand new Sony a7 IV that I can use for photos. But despite the fact that I have the a7 IV and it's honestly better technically in every single way, the photos coming out of the Fujifilm X-Pro2 especially when paired with the 35 millimeter f 1.4 have a distinct look and feel to them that cannot be denied now all the photos i want to share with you guys today are raw like fujifilm RAF files raf files that came straight out of the x-pro 2 first up mexico city now we spent about five six days in roma norte and had a great time like we had a blast like the food was amazing we'll get to all that it, it was a great time and this was all our first time in you know mexico city and i feel like we did a little bit of everything out there there was a wide variety of architecture styles and the buildings the people were great uh, the food was amazing like i said and i honestly didn't have a bad meal while visiting and leading up to the trip i really wanted to have like a specific recipe you know that would be my mexico city look and i honestly just found myself wanting to just relax and edit photos instead we spent a whole day at the Museum of Anthropology admiring all the artifacts and the history of the land and the people. And I was really impressed with the detail and intricacies of each piece of jewelry or sculptures and little tiny statues. Seeing how much history has you know, been documented and preserved was amazing. It really illustrated the scope of time that has passed and all the lives that it took to get to where we are now. You know, standing in the middle of all this history made me feel small in comparison, like a link in like an infinite chain of people. And of course, this was all Mexican history from Mayan to Aztec and even things that predated those civilizations, but it gave me a sense of how deep and dense the roots of mankind overall go. It was great, it was a great time. On our last day in Mexico City, I surprised my wife with a hot air balloon ride over the pyramids at sunrise because I wanted, wanted to give her a really good moment in memory of Mexico City, especially after she graduated. Like I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do it up for her. I wanted to give her a great time. She enjoyed every second of it, watching the sunrise at 10,000 feet <laughs> elevation. It was great. Now, I do have a mild fear of heights and <laughs> I've been working on overcoming that or conquering that over the last few years. And this pretty much sealed the deal for me. Like, I don't know if I'm truly afraid of heights anymore uh, because my desire to get an amazing photo outweighed my nervousness in that moment. And I don't own any Fujifilm zoom lenses, so I took the a7 IV on this tour to get some pretty dope shots. I will say, you know, I liked them, but I really do wish I would have toughed it out with my X-Pro2 and just had the 35 millimeter because I've become, I've become accustomed to the look that it provides. Now don't get me wrong, these photos are really great, but they lack the character that I've been getting from my Fujifilm X-Pro2. The a7 IV and most modern mirrorless cameras are like tack sharp and clinical, and this of course is good for professional or commercial work, but when it comes to capturing candid moments uh, and you know family moments and memories, it's it's not the camera that I reach for. And I don't want to be that guy who you know over sensationalizes a camera with immeasurable metrics like feeling and soul of a picture, but it's honestly true. I honestly don't know what it is about the earlier X-Trans sensors, like X-Trans 2, 3, 1, and also of course when they're paired with the older lenses like the 35 millimeter f1.4 but every photo even the throwaways that you guys will never see <laughs> have a distinct look to them and i just love it the fujifilm x100v is a camera that everyone of course is coveting and hyping up on social media celebrities are using it, all these people are loving and making videos about it and rightfully so it's you know compact and capable it has some great features and it provides of course the film look that's really popular right now but the x pro 2 is the superior camera in my opinion when it comes to the look that i admire the x trans cmos 3 offers a little more character and the ability to change lenses is a must 
If the X100V had a fixed 35 millimeter f1.4 or 23 millimeter f1.4, I will be all over it. <laughs> but the 23 millimeter f2, I also have that lens, just kind of holds it back. I have it on the X-Pro2 and I rarely use it. It's a great focal length 35 millimeter equivalent, but I don't know what it is. It just doesn't have the sauce. Like the X-Pro2 almost feels like the last great X-Pro camera from Fuji because of course everyone in the community was disappointed with the X-Pro3 from build quality to just overall image. Uh, but the X-Pro2, honestly, is the real treat and treasure. If you guys are looking to jump into the Fujifilm world and want to take stills and much like me, want to document family and just have a, a decent camera to walk around with, look no further than the X-Pro2. Don't go with the 3. Don't, I wouldn't even say, if you're priced out of the X-100V, if you can find a really good deal in the X-100V, maybe go for it. But like I said, even that, that lens just kind of holds it back in my opinion a little bit. Get the X-Pro2 with a 35 1.4 you'll be happy. Needless to say, the Fujifilm X-Pro2 is easily my favorite piece of tech or gear purchased this year, and I'm thankful that I was able to find it secondhand on OfferUp for a really good price before, of course, inflation set in. It's helped me capture and document some of my favorite moments of the year, and I think I'll be a lifetime user of the X-Pro series for as long as Fujifilm wants to produce these cameras. You know, the jury's still out. We don't know when we're gonna get the X-Pro4, we'll see. Uh, but you could chalk this video up as another video praising the X-Pro2. I also just wanted to share some of the photos throughout the year with you guys and the trip. Um, when going on this Mexico City trip, I really was planning on, you know, doing a lot of filming, bringing out all my gear out. I honestly was crazy, man. I was thinking about bringing my FX6, and having a whole cinema camera out there and documenting everything. But I really just wanted to sit down and be immersed in the moment. And I didn't realize how much I needed a vacation. Like, I just needed to chill. I was really enjoying just sitting down, editing these raw files. And I know we all kind of get caught up in the JPEG life and the recipes and all that good stuff. But if you're anything like me, nothing beats just sitting down with the raw photo and just editing. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the photos. Uh, let me know down below if you have an X-Pro2, X-Pro3, 1, um, X-100V. If you're planning on jumping into the Fujifilm system, I'd be glad to talk to you guys about it. But uh, it's been a pleasure as usual. If you want to see these photos, of course, well before I make a video about them and put them on YouTube, feel free to follow me at Spruce and Grain. That's on Instagram. I don't have a Twitter or anything for it, just Instagram. That's where I post all the pictures with the X Pro 2 and also any film cameras. Uh, also, I'm everywhere, filmed by Fresh, but it's been a pleasure as usual, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the YouTube thing, hit the notification bell, <laughs> all that stuff. But yeah, it's been a pleasure as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay fresh. Peace.